hello guys welcome back in last lecture what we have done we have added the folder in the brackets created a CSS and just added the basic CSS in this video we will concentrate more on our head part head part will be common for all our website so let's change this I want to add an image oh I don't have currently let's say no this is too big what should I add let's say we add a logo this look good okay looking good but it's not in HD right let's go to image logo design logo logo name logo company you can add your own logo okay for making your own website you can add your own let's say this click on this oh this looks very good there are plenty tech logo this logo inspire academy what about this Mm. It should have a blank background. Okay. let's say we choose this without wasting time if you go and see logos there are plenty of good logos you can select your logo or I'll make another tutorial for how to make your logo okay it's not a big deal we'll choose this as a logo yeah it's a decent one right click a save on image go to desktop and save again close this yeah we'll cut this inside sorry inside the image folder go and paste and what you can do is you can look or can rename it as a logo now once you rename it refresh it automatically this will start appearing in this in this folder see logo is there now in the index folder we want to refer this so we'll go to images then again we will have logo control s oh this logo is too big let's check the dimension what is the dimension of the logo details oh 526 526 see what is this alt text see it has generated an alt for us what is this alt this alt attribute for a particular image tag is very important especially if you are making your website and you want to make it google friendly or seo friendly when your internet connection is actually slow this image will not load so instead of showing this image it will give some alt image alt text so that user can recognize what exactly this is ima image is all about so let's name our image is logo image so we'll put logo just for the reference other than that we have seen our logo is too big and the dimension dimension is along around 526 to 526 so let's reduce the dimension let's do it 128 
GST okay height also 128 yeah it's looking good uh, I'll go to CSS also I'll make it as an inline block okay let's go here and there will be menu also then inside that there will be an anchor tag right I will copy this okay L let's name it as I'll name it as home first link will be a home what you can do select all file edit ok beautify.io I have installed a plugin to beautify this code or indent the code in a proper format so that it will be readable for all click on beautify.io ok so yeah you need to refresh that so yeah we have added one home link other links also will add ok just as many link as you want like in the what you can say for example you click on Google so you if you want to search anything like you see plenty of tab whatever it so this anchor tab we will make this actually this menu system using okay so let's see ah again yeah so we have added we will make it as a home and we'll style this in our CSS let's say I'll make this as about about me I'll keep okay it's look good then resume then what I can do I can make it a school hey I am randomly giving it the name you can choose whatever you want let's say oh still three four minutes are left let's say play uh, not playground my projects or projects we can keep then I can keep contact me yeah mostly every website have that contact me control s now you'll say oh it's not looking like that menu how you will make that so you can go to CSS CSS plays all very important role in making any website look good and awesome okay so what I will do is see in CSS also the comments we can if you want to give a comment what you can do is you can do it you can write like for example this is the symbol for a comment actually one backslash then one asterisk again one asterisk and one is like a starting and this is like a full stop okay so you can what you can give you can what you can say comment your code commenting code is very important see if you write code you are able to understand but what about the other person who will be working on the same code so it is very good habit a good programmer practice to have a what you can say commenting habit okay like for example I can write this is the CSS code for head of the website okay this is the CSS for menu again you can keep it for same same body footer and 
inside body ul is there right so if it is working properly or not for that we will be let's do it as a and let's see if it is working yeah it's working see why i'm doing this solid background solid border because we'll come to know how the ex exact look and feel of this is means like what is the size and dimension so that we can add further code remain if you don't want you can re remove it later okay you can remove this if you don't want you you can always remove this but it is easier if you add border see if you do this it's gone but it's easy what you can say it is easier to keep track where your HTML elements are what I will do is text online sorry what you can say decoration I will say text decoration is none it will remove all the decoration on the text other than that float let's try what's hap what's happening we'll see see you have noticed one thing this is happening to the ul but what about the la all our menu is inside the la right ul means unordered list okay so we will do we will add this to la see once we have added this to li automatically they are aligning yeah but what is happening is that they are all rushing into one another let's say if we keep margin left 10 pixel okay yeah they are started to separate right guys it's already 12 minutes guys we will stop here and continue in our next video from the same point bye